Welcome back to Gemma Movie Recap. In today's recap, we will be diving into the thrilling world of Birds of Prey, a 2020 action crime movie. The story follows the unpredictable Harley Quinn as she forms an unlikely alliance with a singer, an assassin, and a police detective. Together, they join forces to protect a young girl who has become a target after stealing a valuable diamond from a dangerous crime lord. Now, let's get started with our recap of Birds of Prey. But before we start, please support our channel by subscribing and click the bell icon for future notifications. Now, let's start. In the beginning of the film, we are introduced to Harley Quinn, who narrates her story through an animated introduction. As a child, she had a tumultuous relationship with her alcoholic father, who repeatedly tried to abandon her until he finally left her at a Catholic school. Despite her rebellious nature, Harley managed to receive an education and obtain a PhD, becoming a psychologist. It was during her time as a psychologist that she met and fell in love with the Joker, which led to her transformation from Harleen Quinzel to Harley Quinn. However, their relationship has recently ended, and although Harley claims to be fine, she struggles to cope with the breakup. She finds herself living alone in a rundown apartment with her pet hyena named Bruce. Harley decides to visit the Black Mask Club, where she becomes intoxicated and confronts a nearby thug who insults her. In a fit of rage, she injures the thug's leg. The club's owner, Roman Sione slash Black Mask, informs her that the thug was his driver but takes no action against her. Harley has kept her breakup with Joker a secret, as their relationship provided her with protection from the other criminals in Gotham. Later, Harley overhears a group of women discussing her reliance on Joker and predicting that she will eventually return to him. Determined to prove them wrong, Harley drives a truck into Ace Chemicals, the place where she and Joker used to reside, causing a massive explosion resembling fireworks. Just moments before this, Detective Rene Montoya is investigating a suspected mob hit at a restaurant. A flashback reveals Helena Bertinelli slash Huntress as the killer, using her crossbow to eliminate the men inside. Due to her deadly accuracy, she has gained the moniker the crossbow killer. Montoya hears the explosion at the chemical plant and discovers Harley's J necklace, a clear indication to both law enforcement and criminals that Harley and Joker are no longer together. This declaration makes Harley a target for anyone who wants her dead. One of the individuals seeking Harley's demise is Roman, along with his close friend and right-hand man, Victor Zash, a deranged individual who keeps a tally of his victims by carving marks on his body. They are depicted torturing the Keo family and mutilating their faces. Meanwhile, Harley is indulging in her perfect egg sandwich when Montoya, along with several other vengeful crooks, locates and pursues her. In the ensuing chase, Montoya tackles Harley, causing her to drop her beloved sandwich onto the street, devastating her. When it appears that Harley is trapped, she unexpectedly throws a bag of garbage at Montoya, distracting one of the criminals and leading him to accidentally shoot an oncoming truck driver, granting Harley an opportunity to escape. Unfortunately, she encounters a large thug adorned with a face tattoo representing her and Joker. However, before he can harm her, Helena swiftly eliminates him while riding her motorcycle. Harley finds herself surrounded by Roman's henchmen. Montoya returns to the police station where she faces ridicule from her fellow officers. She has a meeting with Captain Patrick Erickson, her former partner who took credit for her hard work and was promoted, as well as District Attorney Ellen Yee, who is Montoya's ex. Despite building a case against Roman, Montoya lacks support from both of them. During this time, she is introduced to Cassandra Kane, a young girl arrested for pickpocketing. Montoya receives a call from Dinah Lance slash Black Canary, informing her that Cass has a diamond in her possession. Harley arrives at the station, attempting to go after Cass, but she realizes she's jumping ahead in the story. A week earlier at the club, Roman discusses the Bertinelli diamond with Mr. Keo. The diamond contains valuable codes to their substantial fortune and is currently in the Roman's possession. It is also the reason why Helena's entire family was killed. Keo rejects working with Roman, which ultimately leads to his and his family's demise. Dinah works as a singer at the club, known for her beautiful voice. Later, she encounters a drunken Harley who confesses that she and Joker have broken up. Harley then drinks with another man who later attempts to kidnap her. Witnessing this, Dinah fights off the man and his associates. Ah! 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 
Roman witnesses the incident from his window and is impressed. He instructs Zash to bring Dinah to him, intending to hire her as his new driver. Montoya attempts to gather information from Dinah about Roman, but Dinah refuses to cooperate. Dinah and Cass are acquainted as they reside in the same building, and Dinah feels a sense of empathy towards Cass due to her knowledge of Cass living with abusive foster parents. In a subsequent event, Cass pickpockets Zash and successfully steals the diamond before being apprehended for other stolen items. Following her escape from Montoya, Harley is captured by Roman's men. Aware of the numerous grievances Roman holds against her, including trivial matters such as her political choices and mispronunciations, Harley endures physical abuse from Roman. During this ordeal, she daydreams about herself in a sequence reminiscent of Marilyn Monroe's Diamonds, Our Girl's Best Friend. Before Roman can execute Harley, Zash informs him that the diamond is missing. Harley proposes a deal to retrieve the diamond, which Roman reluctantly agrees to. Subsequently, Roman issues a bounty on Cass. The scene transitions to Harley launching an assault on the police station using colored smoke and confetti bombs. She orchestrates the escape of Cass while inadvertently releasing other criminals who seek to harm Cass. Engaging in a solo fight against the attackers, Harley wields a baseball bat and lighter, among other items. More assailants, motivated by their desire for Cass and the diamond, appear, and Harley, fueled by cocaine inhalation, dispatches them. She manages to flee the station with Cass, ensuring her safety. Roman discovers that Harley and Cass have eluded his henchmen, causing him to become enraged. In his club, he notices Erica laughing and, fueled by Zash's persuasion, believes she is mocking him. Roman commands Erica to dance on the table and forcefully demands that her friend cut off her dress. Witnessing this deplorable act, Dinah realizes the extent of Roman's monstrosity. Meanwhile, Harley becomes aware that Cass has swallowed the diamond and urgently needs laxatives. They acquire the necessary supplies from a supermarket and return to Harley's apartment, located above a Taiwanese restaurant managed by the Benevolent Document. Once upstairs, Helena approaches Doc, inquiring about Harley. The narrative briefly shifts to Helena's backstory. Following the murder of her family by mob boss Stefano Galanti, Helena survived and was taken to Sicily by one of Galanti's henchmen, who happened to be his brother and father. Under their guidance, Helena received training to become the skilled assassin she is today. She eventually avenged her family by killing Galanti, and the mobsters encountered earlier were the individuals who executed her family. Zash remains the final name on her list. Back at the police station, Montoya learns that he betrayed her by informing Erickson that she stole evidence from a crime scene. Consequently, Erickson suspends Montoya. Harley's apartment becomes the target of an attack orchestrated by one of Roman's henchmen. The explosion destroys the place, and Harley's pet hyena, Bruce, goes missing. Discovering that Doc betrayed her by accepting a bribe from Roman's goons, Harley contacts Roman and proposes a trade-off, Cass in exchange for immunity. Roman agrees and assigns Dinah the task of transporting Zash to meet them. However, Zash spots a text exchange between Dinah and Montoya, revealing their location. He informs Roman, who becomes furious and dons his black mask persona. Harley arranges to meet at an amusement park, specifically at a spot called the Booby Trap, where she used to hide with Joker. Cass becomes aware of the betrayal when Harley restrains her to a toilet so that she can recover the swallowed diamond. Montoya arrives first and engages in a fight with Harley. It appears Montoya is close to apprehending Harley until she manages to free herself and forcefully eject Montoya from the building. Dinah and Zash arrive shortly after, but Zash incapacitates Harley with a tranquilizer and prepares to kill her. In the nick of time, Helena arrives and eliminates Zash by shooting him with an arrow to the neck. The women confront each other momentarily before noticing Roman's arrival outside, accompanied by an army of thugs. Realizing they all have a score to settle with Roman, Harley proposes a reluctant alliance to fight against him. They arm themselves with various weapons from the past, Harley with a mallet, Dinah with a bat, Montoya with brass knuckles, etc., and prepare to battle. They proceed to smash and overpower numerous goons until Roman manages to capture Cass. Oh, 
As the women find themselves cornered by armed thugs, Dinah releases a powerful supersonic scream, incapacitating the thugs and providing Harley the opportunity to pursue Roman on rollerblades. Harley pursues Roman but is knocked down by other thugs. Helena comes to her aid, eliminating the thugs and causing Roman's car to crash. Roman takes Cass to the pier and attempts to provoke Harley, claiming she still needs him. Harley retorts that the criminals of Gotham should fear her, not Roman or Joker. Just as Roman threatens Cass, she reveals that she has planted a grenade on him and pulls the pin. Harley hurls Roman off the pier, causing him to explode into gruesome pieces before plunging into the water. The rest of the group joins Harley and Cass, relieved that Roman is now gone. The following morning, the women gather to enjoy tacos and margaritas. Cass intends to pass the diamond, but instead, she and Harley steal Dinah's car and drive off. In the future, Erickson once again takes credit for Montoya's efforts in dismantling Roman's empire. Fed up with the Gotham City Police Department, Montoya quits her job and joins forces with Dinah and Helena. They utilize the funds from the Bertinelli accounts to form the Birds of Prey. Meanwhile, Harley and Cass pawn the diamond and ride away with Bruce, who miraculously resurfaces. Harley takes Cass under her wing as her apprentice. With a defiant spirit, Harley declares that while she may have a soft side, she challenges anyone who dares to label her as such. That concludes the recap of the movie. We would love to hear your thoughts on it in the comments section. Remember to give us a like and support our channel by subscribing and clicking the notification bell to stay updated on future recaps. If there's any other movie you'd like us to recap, please let us know in the comments. Thank you for watching, and until next time.